Oh my god, oh my god, it's really killing me. Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce new released Genesis Hyundai and Gear Cars. If you've been watching my channel, you know what I am doing, why I'm here. I am going to remote park this Genesis G80 facelift using the remote controller key fob only. Using the tag called RSPA, which stands for Remote Smart Parking Assist. Blindfolded, not technically, but I'm not gonna look at the car. That will be shooting the interior, the steering wheel. I will be using this remote controller, the key fob only. I say this every single time I do this video. I really hope that I do not end up submitting this to my insurance company. You guys know why I actually chose that lot for today. It's the pre-facelift Genesis G80 and the facelift G80. I just really have a bad feeling about this. I know what I signed up for, so let's go. So I always sat somewhere here, but then it was a little too far because if I sit over there, the car is gonna stop. It gets too far away from the vehicle. I guess I'll stand here then, right? Facing that way so that you know I'm not looking at anything. All right, this looks good. Let's go. Uh, moment of truth. I hate this, the EPV, and I hear the tire squeak. Uh, I really hope this won't turn into the bad karma, but I really do have a bad feeling about this for some reason today. So all I'm doing is just press holding onto the button, and I do hear the steer, I do hear the engine, it's rotating. You guys are seeing it real hard. Uh, I know it's a reversing. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. It's really killing me. All right, you guys are seeing it all real time. Oh, what is that sound? Oh my God, oh my God. Uh, it's almost new. Okay, wow. The fan just started running and I thought that freaked me out. And I know it's coming almost to the end. It's about time. And please, just when the engine shuts off, that's when it's actually off. Okay. Okay. Okay, I hear the beep. The engine is shut off. And, oh my God, oh my God. It actually did a perfect job. Oh my God. Well, you can probably see from that angle right there how straight the car is and also over there too. Oh my God, it did it. It did a perfect job. And I really want to make a comparison video because I have the pre facelift right next to it. Why not? Let's get it. <laughs> I gotta show it to you up close right now. So, oh my God, thank you. One on the left is the Tasman Blue. That is the 2024 Genesis G80 facelift Tasman Blue I have. On the right is the Vic Black, the black color of the Genesis. Honestly, you can probably see the differences just looking at it back to back, side by side. And those immediate differences are pretty much the only difference that you see on the exterior wise. You see that is the good old the crest grill that we've been getting on Genesis. And that is the double layered G matrix pattern grill I told you about. And also the lower grill is much wider with the air curtain and the accent. The preface lift does not have as you can see. Last but not least is that MLA headlights that the facelift has gotten right over there. I've been showing Showing you all day long and that is what the preface lift doesn't have and also the wheel that wheel is no longer available the crest the emblem is actually now that's the outdated one and that is the guilloche pattern brand new flat 2d logo design on genesis brands just let me show it to you one more time that beautiful mla welcome ceremony that the preface lift g80 never got come around and let me also show you the rear of the car as well. It's all on my review video, but there is the caliper right there, Genesis written on it, although it's the metal sheet. So the rear bumpers are different with the diffuser underneath. Since you're parked all the way, I cannot show it to you. So now is the time when this comes in super handy as well. So push the car out, 
just like so and now I have a good look at the profile and the rear view of these two cars so you see now it's the hidden type muffler for the facelift and is not well it is somewhat hidden for the preface lift as well but the design the rear diffuser part and rear bumper is different so that's it for today giving you a quick exterior look of g80 facelift and the preface lift and also most importantly the rspa honestly this was the most breathtaking one because i know it has somewhat difficulty with the speed bump right here and the pillar next to it. I actually tried out this spot several times, but the car just wouldn't pick it up. The car just didn't want to park over there, but then it did pick up the spot one last time and this is what happened. I actually do make videos with all cars that comes with the RSPA blindfolded and I have what? G90, GV60, Ionic 5N, the list just goes on and on. Hope you enjoyed today's video and do not miss out my full detailed review on the G80 facelift and I'll see you in the next video. This by far hands down the most challenging video I had ever. I know I'm coming back to this place but I just never get used to this content. Trust me. All right, that's it. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video. Facelift or pre-facelift? I mean, the answer must be obvious, right?